What's up guys, it's Ivan. So in the previous video, we've set up some campaigns, we've set up some split testing, but what is split testing until we can actually see the results, right? And that's the most important thing is we need to see what the conversions are. If our clicks are terrific on uh, one campaign and not on the other, that doesn't mean anything unless those clicks actually equal to conversions. If they don't equal to conversions, then those clicks just equal to more money spent, which doesn't mean it's better, okay? So let me show you how to set up your conversions uh, from Google with ClickBank, okay? Uh, which is what we've been using in the past. So um, I'm going to assume you have a ClickBank account. Um, and what we're going to do is let's go to Tools and Conversions in Google. And here I've logged into my supposedly ClickBank account right there, okay? Um, and we need to say Add Conversion. So let's say Add. Uh, we're going to say Website because we need to track purchases, form submissions, or other actions on our website, right? Not the phone call, not the app. We're not importing anything. Select. So let's say a name. So we need to track two things. One is we need to track how many people actually enter our order form and the other thing we need to track is how many people actually buy. Now obviously for conversions we'll be using how many people actually buy but it's still useful to know how many people landed on our about to buy page, right? So let's do the first one. Let's say this one is just order form, just the order form page. They're not buying. I'm going to click done. The value, how much worth it, how much, how much What's the dollar value of it to you if people land on your order form page and don't buy? To me, that's nothing, right? So I'm going to say don't assign a value. But for you, if it's like, hey, it's it's worth a dollar, you, you, can, you can put that in. Um, you can count either every single time that, you know, if, if, if someone um, lands on your, if, if someone clicks and lands on your ad and they buy four or five or six purchases, then you can count that as six conversions, or you can just count that as one conversion, okay? So that's up to you how you want to do it. I'm gonna say every, that's fine. Conversion window, um, so how long you'd like to track conversions? So I'm gonna go with, uh, let me see, 90 days. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the maximum, the 90 days. For this, the maximum is 30 days uh, for view through, which is fine. We'll click save. Category, okay, so here's where we actually decide whether this is the conversion we're tracking or just people landing on our order page, okay? So this is our order form. It should not be counted as a conversion. This will not be a conversion by, by Google standards, right? When we measure our results. So I'm going to say view of a key page. Should this be included in conversions? No, okay? I'm gonna say no because when people just land on your page, they didn't buy yet. They didn't buy yet, so it's not a conversion. Uh, and we'll just leave that as is. We're going to say save and continue. Okay, so here's our code, okay? So I'm just going to copy that. Uh, let me just open notepad. I'll paste it here. Okay, so keep that there in your notepad or, or somewhere in a Word document, whatever it is. Let's go back to our ClickBank. Let's go to settings. Uh, I'm going to go to my site. <clears throat> now let's scroll down to pixels and here you can see we've set up some pixels from click magic if we've seen our previous video I'm going to say add code and we're going to go to Google AdWords and here's where we need to input all this information so I'm going to go back to my notepad so first thing let's enter our Google ID <clears throat> So let's put that in. Now the first time actually I set this up, I input my actual Google ID. So whatever that number was, I actually used that and it seemed to work fine. But just to be safe, put in the ID that it says there, okay? Um, conversion label, okay, so this is our conversion label, okay? So it says view page label, purchase label. So we need to copy this whole thing, not, not the... Um, not the quotation marks, don't copy those, and put it in the view page label because this is our view page, right? This isn't the, the conversion yet. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that's that. So that's done. So we've done our conversion for the order form, but that's not really the important part. That's not what we need. So let's add another conversion. This is the one we actually need to track. And let's say order form confirmation, right? Or name it whatever you want to. Value. Okay, so how much will you earn? You don't have to put it in. 
uh, that's just something that, that may help you make decisions, right? If, if you see that, hey, I've made 27 bucks and I've spent 20, that's something that may help you. Or if you just want to see, hey, I made one, two, or three conversions, that's up to you. I'm going to say, for example, you know, 20 bucks. If you want to count again, so if someone lands on the ad and buys 20 things, is that 20 conversions or one? That's up to you to decide. I'm going to make it, in this case, I'm going to make it one. Conversion window, I'm going to make it 90 days again. Category, now for the cat, yes, yeah, so I need to include that in conversions. For a category, I'm going to say purchase, okay? That means they've purchased. The other options are if, if, if they whether they signed up or whether it's just a lead, but I'm going to say purchase here. I'm going to say done. Leave that as is, save and continue. So your, well, let me just copy that. So your ID should be the same, uh, but the label will be different. So let's just copy that label. That's the one that, the, the new one that we just copied. And let's put that into the purchase label. And I believe that's right. I don't think I missed anything. Yep, and I'm just gonna click save. And we're going to activate it. Okay, so that should work now. It does take them a while to kind of test, uh, but it should work assuming you follow these instructions correctly. I did it right my very first time I've actually set this up. Um, and there you have it. So obviously they won't be able to verify if someone's bought unless someone's actually bought. There's no way to test it out. And this one should work when someone lands on your order form page. So let's just quickly see if it's going to work if we go there. Uh, but it should take some time and uh, it's not instant. So let's just see if it works for us. Oh, okay. So my browser is not allowing me to go to this uh, diabetes page, so that's fine. But basically, that's how you that's how you set it up. It should work, okay? It says unverified, but within a few hours of installation, it should it should be verified. Uh, and maybe in the next video, I'll actually show you a uh, an extension on Chrome that you can use to test and to see if it will be working, okay? So that's about it. Thanks for watching. That's how we set up the conversions, and now we'll be able to actually see which of our uh, campaigns or landing or um, ads do better. All right. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If uh, if, if you've already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and, and if you haven't, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.